I'm Mike Stan with Build America Mutual. I'm here with Farhad Omer from the National League of Cities who just completed the NLC's annual City Financial Conditions Report and is here to give us uh, some of the insights. So thank you for uh, doing this. It's not your first year working on the report, but your first year in charge of it. So congratulations thank on you. that. Uh, were there any surprises? What stood out to you in this year's results? Sure. Uh, looking at the data, I would say two things actually stood out to me. One is huge you know, fluctuations in sales taxes from 2020 to 2021 where we actually saw, and I had to double check and triple check this fact, that majority of cities in our sample actually experienced large increases in their sales taxes and their revenue as well. So the second thing that stood out to me was increases, huge increases basically in overall general fund revenues in cities. And this trend actually continued for some of the cities, not all of them, but some of the cities, even in 2022. But to be fair, we only have access to budgeted numbers for 2022. It would be interesting to come back to this data next year and compare with audited 2022 and see if this trend actually is continuing. And it's interesting because that trend of growth actually predates kind of the recent wave of inflation. Um, but you did a lot of work in normalizing to, to create those dollars, the, the analysis in constant dollars to, to uh to set aside the effect of inflation. What did that show about how things are going now? So the, when we actually took inflation into account before doing that, when we looked at you know current inflation, uh, current non you know adjusted for inflation numbers, sales taxes overall uh, on average actually showed 11.5% increase. But when we took actually inflation into account, it's only showing 4.5%, which is still considerably speaking, con con you know, compared to previous years is still a huge jump in, you know, sales taxes year over year. But again, when you take inflation into account, other sources such as property taxes and income taxes and sales taxes show less increase basically compared to when you just look at the current numbers. And obviously different communities have different mixes of revenue. Did you see different attitudes, different budgeting proposals from depending on where the revenues come from? Absolutely. So. I would say overall, 75% of communities actually in our sample show optimism for the next couple of years, even considering that the majority of them acknowledge the upcoming, you know, uh, stagflation, for example, or a slowdown in economy. But that being said, government would go, is different from another government. For example, based on their tax authority, governments that rely majority of their revenues on only one source, and that source being property taxes, seems to be less, you know, alerted about the future next couple of years and the slowdown of economy because majority of, if not all of their, you know, resources come from a source that is not really affected by inflation that much. On the other hand, half of cities in the nation actually rely on sales taxes in addition to property taxes. For those governments, I would say they are a bit, at least it's, this is the sentiment we received, that they are more concerned about, you know, uh, the next couple of years and the potential slowdown in the economy because sales taxes, unlike property taxes, get affected by inflation very much and very fast. And we heard some of that from the panel you heard, held earlier today. You had representatives from Montana, Texas, and, and Virginia all talking about their approaches. Broadly, it seems like cities have been uh, fiscally conservative and are continuing to be so through this period. Which is actually a good sign. Yes, that's, that's what we actually observed in the data as well. We see that governments declined basically their estimates for their expenditures and revenue estimates for 2022, again, based on the budgeted numbers that we have. And that's actually the trend in their budgeting for 2023. And some of our panelists actually also mentioned that they are going to do the same in their 2024 budgets. Which is, which I consider actually a very responsible way of doing budgeting in these uncertain times. But it would be interesting to see how everything shakes out next year when we look at actually the audited 2022 numbers. All right, so we'll be back in a year to, to see that. Yes. The uh, City Financial Conditions Report is available on the NLC website. It'll also be available uh, through links and BAM social media feeds. Thanks for watching. Thank you for joining us. Thank you.